the financial crisis hit the middle class and hit the upper middle class. Whereas the poor, it's always been hit. Those who live in, in poverty, um, it's always been hitting them. It's never stopped. And, um, and that's part of the problem is that, particularly in this country, we don't see poverty as a form of violence. And, we don't, and, that's, and that's a major issue because poverty is violent. It is violence upon um, the people who exist within poverty. When I was back in the community colleges, when I saw our fees already increase, I already saw students in the community college um, going out with, going with no food to eat because they can't afford to, even though they're working, they're going to school, they're not able to feed themselves, so they're just going hungry. We were given the promise that our financial systems were supposed to help the third world, and not only that, but it was supposed to help us and protect us. But we haven't seen that. We actually seen the third world get worse and we have actually lost protections, we've lost rights. Um, we have also seen a dramatic increase of uh, wealth continually going to the 1% of the population. I see it as the rest of the world um, finally saying it's about time the Americans are waking up because to the rest of the world we're the 1% and they're the 99%. And so I think the rest of the world is really hoping that we can actually get through this and make some change, um, see something happen. I mean, the, the rest of the world is counting on us.